Uh, nobody, nobody's here. It's just, um, it's just me for right now. So I just thought, uh, I don't know. I just peep in and, uh, say hello and touch base, you know, it's just me right now. Just me just waiting on everybody else, but Hey, you're here, I guess. So mm, what's new with you? But, um, I'll say this, I'll say this about last week's, um, installment. Well, we started at seven 30 because, but that was, you know, we, that was planned in a way we had to, uh, I think the day before, yeah, we had already, we knew we were already going to start at seven and of course it ended up being seven thirty. but, um, it was a planned thing. So what I'm trying to say is, is it took 30 minutes to prepare the table, not really an hour and a half. Actually, to be honest, a couple hours before seven o'clock, we knew it was going to be around seven thirty. So, really, it didn't take us any time to prepare at all. Um, but but if you want to be stay informed, join the Discord. The Discord, uh, the you know, will let you know where you can know things. Um, Chicken Jessica made an announcement on the discord the discord there's a link in this description of this video and that's that <clears throat> uh i just got some flonays today you know about flonays uh i'm th thinking i mean it's supposed to be allergy relief but i don't know i got sick and i don't even know when i got sick in september and then i think i got over that but then i got sick again in October, but they happened back to back. So it almost seems like it was the same thing. And um, so I went to, you know, I got sick in October, around October 23rd. And then, and I still have congestion from this. And I don't know why, you know, I'm still, I still got that post nasal drip. And that makes me cough sometimes. Yesterday, I just, you know, I, I was getting that post-nasal drip. And it was, you know, tickling my tickling my fancy and making me cough. My fancy being, I guess, my throat or whatever. And, um, you know, I'm congested. I still have opaque snot. And so... I don't know. I thought maybe I'll get that flow nase. I tried using flow nase today, but the stuff don't work. Uh, y'all try flow nase? Yeah, I got that post. Uh, yo, I, hey, y'all, I got that post nasal drip. You know, I got that by, by doses all stuffed up. I try using flow nase to unplug my nose, but the stuff is, the stuff don't work. It don't work. It tell you to spray it twice. Sprays a bit up the nostril. And I start you know, I tried to go, I sniffed it in, breathe out my, my mouth, and then I just still, I still stuffed up. The stuff don't work. I try to use a flow days. Y'all tried flow days before? The stuff don't work. So I'm out here doing my thing, you know, I'm about stuffed up, using my flow days. Okay? I use my flow days. It's better than mayonnaise. Y'all ever try spray some mayonnaise up in your nostrils? The stuff don't work. I'm about stuffed up. I try putting some mayonnaise on my toes, though. You put some, you put the mayonnaise on the toes and some flonase on the nose. It's all stuffed up. It's I got it all stuffed up. Um, but I am a little stuffed up though. Um, my left nostril in particular. 
Um, and I, yeah, I kind of don't think Flonase works. I got Flonase once before in my life. I got it some years ago and I had that same thought. I thought to myself, this, y'all get flow days before the stuff don't work. I thought that to myself back then. And I thought I'm not going to get flow days again in my life, but I want to get, I don't want to, I don't know. I don't want this. So I thought, all right, I'm going to get it again. I'll see what happens. I also got a saline. I got a saline spray. Yeah, y'all get that saline spray. I tried. Look, if you if you, you you try the flow days, the flow days don't work. Then you could try the, the saline spray and it might unplug you. So I'm, I got this um saline spray. I might try that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I might try that next. I might try that next. All right, Laura, you ready to come in here? I'm talk about. I'm over here talking about flow days. Oh you my know, god! You I'm, trying, that, I'm trying to get my stuff all unplugged because you know, you know, I was trying to use use a flow days, but I was saying that the stuff don't work. I believe it. I you believe it. Your uh, y'all never try to use a flow days? Mm, hell yes. You ever get plugged? Absolute. You ever unclear? Absolute. Do you think the stuff works? To work? a degree. Does it work? Hell no. Maybe. Have you ever used saline spray? I have. At a time in my life, there was a time when I tried it, yeah. <laughs> Why? It don't work? Well, I tried using Flonase uh, just moments ago. It probably takes a little while for it to To be work. honest, it seems a little risque, if you ask me. Really? What's risque about Flonase? Well, you're, you're squirting a liquid up there. It don't seem right. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a mist. <laughs> right. I mean, it could work. You know, what's funny is that you should bring that up is the fact that I watched Dennis the Menace, the 90s version, last night. And a Flonase type solution makes an appearance in that movie. Really? Is it a saline solution? Something to that effect. And did you know that that movie is directed by John Hughes, written by John Hughes, I believe, and produced by John Hughes, and also music score by Jerry Goldsmith? I didn't know that John Hughes was involved with that. I know. Joint. It's actually quite good, I have to say. Hey, get this. You know I that movie? It. Do you know that movie, Just One of the Guys? I do. I told you about it. What do you mean, told me about it? You I watched about it before it. you were born. No, you did not. Before I was born. <laughs> yeah. I, I, first of all, I saw that movie before you, probably, I think. To be honest, that's probably true. But I okay. reinvigorated it into your life recently. Mm, I don't know, even know about that. But okay. I know that I probably showed it to you. But, and in fact, actually, I think I you wrote, did, to be honest. <laughs> in fact, I wrote a screenplay then in college. Well, I started writing in college and I finished it later in life that uh that was actually that's based on it on really it. yeah what's it called one of the girls <laughs> really so it's about a guy that dresses like a girl to get into some sort of cheerleading type competition i'm guessing something like that something like that i don't even want to give it away you know you know I, I, who knows you know i get all my stuff gets stolen and re-uploaded i don't i don't want my my million wait a minute dollars. Sorry I want to my multi multi million dollar idea. Right, I hear that. But unfasten. Sorry, <laughs> unfasten just said John Hughes didn't direct Dennis the Menace, but I believe he did. Maybe you saw. It. Maybe it's something else. No, I swear. Okay, I got. I just. I got to look this up. Hold on. I mean, I. I. I'm like. I remember looking at it, going, "He directed this? No way." Let well, I'm see. here. To, let me say this. I mean, are you ready for this next spot that I got, that I got yeah. locked and loaded here? Yeah. All yeah. right. <coughs> oh, flow, okay. The flower days don't work. It don't work. <coughs> All right. I'm wrong. I was wrong. It was directed by Nick Castle, written and co-produced, written and co-produced by John Hughes. Well, there you go. <laughs> Congratulations to Cammy. She's 19. Wow. Really? Yeah. Oh, today. 19 months. <coughs> yeah. Oh, we got. Oh, whoa. 
Bryce Shell t- just turned 21. Wow. He is beyond legal at this point. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to tell you something about just one of the guys. Did you know that it was co-written by Jeff Franklin? Who that? Jeff Franklin created a well-known sitcom. Which one? <laughs> known as Full House. Oh, wait. He, sorry. What did he do? He, co- he, co- he co-wrote just one of the guys. Ah, interesting, interesting, co-wrote, interesting. Hmm. Laura, congratulate these people for turning 19 and 21. And Absolute I'm just, congratulations, I just, I'm gonna... Gemma. Congratulations, Pink Cushion. Congratulations, Bryce as hell. Um, and to all of those who have turned an age today, congratulations. Cammy. amazing, 19 months. It's a beautiful thing. It's beautiful. Um... Who else is here who t- turned something today? Um, wow, Mulazzo. All, wow, 20. Amazing. That's amazing. These are big days for all, all of you. What are you going to do? What are you going to do to sell? It's c- chode, 17. That's getting up there. That's amazing. Wow. So what What happened to Brent? I have no idea. Is he going to go squirt some more Flonase? I don't know. Well, what do we think is going to happen? CJ, you out there? CJ around tonight? I'm out here. I'm out here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm out here. I'm out here. I just okay, checked then. In. All right, then. I just wanted oh, Qualia, some company over here. is 18. He's fully... Uh, wow. He's fully boosted now. Wow. Amazing. Look at all these mofos. All these people, they're just getting older. We're watching them is grow today, up. Is, We're watching them grow up. They're our, kind of our kids in a way. They know? are little chickadees. The question is, why are so many people turning a, an age today of all days? Today, yeah, I know what's going on. Is today age day? Right, is today age day? Did yeah, something what's going happen on? Yeah, along like that long ago on this day that would mark such a, an anniversary as such? I know what's going on on today. Yeah, why is it like that? Well, today's the full beaver moon. <laughs> I know well, that much. it's Maybe Boxing it Day. No, no, it's Cyber Monday. Oh, it's Cyber Monday. That's why they're all. Oh, good. I need to buy something. I guess. Oh, too late for that. It is. Yeah, something like that. No, it's not. I don't even know, and I don't know. <laughs> Should we just start the show? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Welcome to the Chicken Coop. My name is Brent Weinbach, and... My name is Laura Weinbach. That's right. This is the live video podcast chat show something or other, you know, analysis show or something, discussion. And um, <clears throat> I wish they didn't have this post-nasal drip. Wow. Um, so but you anyway. Really ha- you have an issue right now. Well, Are you I, saying you got sick? I've been sick. I, I don't oh, know. Okay. I don't know what the deal is. It's just I don't even know what I have. I don't even. You know don't what have this any is. new symptoms of any sort. No, nothing new. I just no. it's always the same crap. It's always just a mucusy and you know dripping, and I got cough and so forth. You know, it ain't right. It's not good. All right. Well, anyways. All right. So look, here's what's going on this episode. Um, it just feels like this is never going to go away. Maybe I have a sinus infection and maybe I need antibiotics. I don't know. But I don't feel sick, by the way. I don't feel sick. And I don't experience any pain or anything like that. Uh-huh. And I don't experience any pain or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> when you stuffed up, you know, when you stuffed up a little bit, it make you sound kind of like your name should be Flonase. Well, they don't, Flonase does sound like some sort of, you know, rapper, rapper. name or something like that. Yeah, That would be so funny. Oh, my God. You should do something my, with that. My name is Flonase. Yo, what's up, man? My new <laughs> album drops on Tuesday, uh, December 5th. <laughs> We got the new album dropping, Flow Nay, self titled. You know, is it's come, it's gonna be, it's gonna be hot, man. It was coming out hot, man. Flow Nays, that is Flo-Nays. hilarious. What's up, Flow Nays in the house? Flow Nays sounds like it definitely sounds just, like a rapper, like a rapper who always has a cold, and he's right. Like- well, there are. I feel like rappers do have nasally sounding voices. That I mean, is hilarious. Obviously, be real. No, I mean, we gotta, we gotta like, guess. Oh, what's up, my name is Flow Nays. <laughs> Use my shit. Well, I... 
<laughs> Got a new shit album coming through on Monday, dropping on Monday. <laughs> he was my shit. Right. He's always and, like, uh, anyway, that's just going to be stuffed up. Yeah. As in, I, yo. Hey, yo, what's up, man? This is Flow Days coming at you. I'm about to drop the new album on December 5th. And, you know, just got to keep it real here on Power 106 with Hip Hop li- I- Where Hip Hop Lives. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Where Drip Hop Lives. Yeah, where, oh, dri- where Post Nasal Drip Hop Lives. That is good. You just got to do something with that. Really? <laughs> I think you just Well, did, I, I yeah. feel I feel as though that that something has funny. been done. Our friend um our friend Nick Stargue. Oh, is that right? He has a bit where he talks about it sounds like um Be Real from Cypress Hill has a cold, okay. which he kind of does yeah. cuz he does have a nasally voice. Right. You know, it's that he did that you know what it, he's you know, he's, he sounds like this kind of um you know, he kind of has a sound that he sounds like this. It's right. Right. And he has a nasally voice. And I think he does something where he. Oh, does he sneeze? Not, yeah. Or he's sniffing, sniffling or something like that. I think I recall such a thing. So yeah, I feel like it. something has been done with it. But. Okay. okay. But I'm. Just but thinking, no one's claimed the time. The, t- the title Flonase. I don't no, I know. That's a new character. That works. right? That's there. a new character. That Flonase is I this like rapper who's. Maybe he doesn't have the sniffles all the time. Maybe he does. I don't know. No, he doesn't because he uses Flonase, maybe. I'm about to drop the new album. No, but he's stuffed up. I'm stuffed up. You know, you're about to drop the new album. And, you know, I'm about to give it up big for the Baker Boys. The board for having me, uh, you know, pump my stuff up. I want to give it up. Well, I want to give it up. And then, you know, I want to give it up to Jay London and the crew on 92.3 to beat. And I got to give it up to Rick D's, the board on Kiss FM, 102.7 Kiss FM. He's like, he's like, yo, what's up? This is your b-boy flow days in the house. And I uh, got a new album dropping on Monday. It's entitled Zyrtec. And it's going to be tight. And then on uh, next month, I got another single coming out. Uh, it's a post-nasal drip part two. <laughs> and uh, not to be mistaken with number two, which I'm about to do in about 15.5 <laughs> minutes from now. Yeah, so uh, back to you. B-boy. Baker boy. <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, what's up? This is, this is a flow days. I'm about to drop my new album, Zertech in effect. Zertech in effect. And, um, you know, it's got tracks on it, such yeah. as pre-nasal <laughs> drip. Wait, I think it's actually the MC is, is Zert or like, no, the, the DJ or whatever is Zertech. It's yeah, like, I know. Yo, exactly. what's up? I'm Yo, DJ got... Zertech in the house. Yeah, we got DJ. crazy beats on my technics. He got, we got DJ Zertech, man. He, you know, he made all the beats for the album. Um, got to give yeah. it up to my producer, um, Claritin, doc, you know, Claritin, Dr. Claritin. Claritin, or just like, yeah, Dr. Dr. Claritin. Claritin on the F. Or no, I got to give it up to my producer, Claire. Oh, 10 and <laughs> or something like Irish. that. Yeah. <laughs> gotta give it up you to know, my Irish producer, Claire yeah, O'Ten. Yeah, <laughs> Claire O'Ten. I gotta give it up to my Irish producer, Claire O'Ten. He's been a you know a light of my life. And shout out to my boy Zycam. What's up? <laughs> Keep it real over there. Give it up to my, give it up my, my zinc boys. Give it up to my Middle Eastern brothers and sisters. Give it up to the big to Zycam. And Mucinex, what's up, my boy? <laughs> and I got to give it to my inspiration, Mucinex. Mucinex. My inspiration, course, Mucinex. My main muse, Sudafed, doing a damn thing over here. Got to give it up to my baby girl, Allegra. You know you know, I love you, girl. I'm, I'm going to propose to you one day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's hilarious. <laughs> Being a drill. <laughs> hey, y'all know the drill. Benadryl. And then all right, then let's get this thing started, man. Benadryl. You know Yo, the drill. Zertech, you- let me get a beat on that diamond tap. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, check out this new dance move I made up. It's called the Robo Tussin. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What it, what I'm learning how to diamond tap dance all the way home to Oklahoma. <laughs> 
Sudafed. Sudafeds. You know, I, you know, man, the government, they ripped me off, man. I had to pay all these taxes. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to file a suit. Sudafeds. Oh, someone said that already. Wow. Kichi said Oh, that. damn. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's chiming Everybody's in. Getting in Everybody's that. getting in on it. Everybody's getting in on it. Boys to mental <laughs> mental lifters. <laughs> That's funny. Boys to mental lifters. <laughs> right. Shout out to my boys to mental lay them. Nitty pot. <laughs> I don't know. Just looking at what people are saying here. Uh huh. Being a drape. Ban a drill. <laughs> Clear attend these nuts. Cause D. <clears throat> Let me Sorry. give another shout out to Kleenex. <laughs> always, always there for me in hard, hard yeah. times and good times. You always there. Hey, I told my, I told my girl, I told my lady Allegra. I said, hey, can you give me a quick vapor rub before I go to sleep? <laughs> she said, I'm, I'm. She said, I'm busy. I'm too tired for that. I said, come on, girl. You know I love you. It's Flo Nights. Give me a quick vapor <laughs> rub. She said, all right. For, only for you, Flo. She gave me that that Vic, She gave me that vapor rub. She gave me that boys to mentholate of vapor it rub. Felt, and I'm about to admit, it felt pretty good. <laughs> all right. That's good. That's good. Very good. That's, a, really? that's one for the crowd. I feel like that's one to get everybody involved. You know what I mean? Oh, you mean for this show? That's what you call like a a um Competent what do you call that? Well, group think. It's, it's a group thing. Sh it's coop a thing. Uh, it's a coop thing. Ain't it's nothing a coop but a coop thing. thing. Ain't um, nothing but a coop thing, baby. Sucking on a Vix vapor, uh, baby. Yeah, no, it's it's good. I like it. Sort of a uh, thing along, if you will. Yeah, it's kind of a play along type thing. Okay, so um. Any th okay, so should we get to? Well, let's get to the topic of today. Hey, 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 hey. but before uh -oh. you do that, before what's you do that, little, what's this little chicken producer right here named Chicken what's Jessica going CJ? on? Over here? CJ, Ooh. what's up? Rico, um, but, I mean, you notice all these new members. I mean, not new members, old members. But uh, one thing you didn't mention on these super mm -hmm. chats here, see these donations right here? What these that? Are donations to the oh, show? Oh, wow. Yeah, what's that? Donations, <laughs> Bations. <laughs> Shoot. Right. That's right. Um, Those are Babations. And the way they're doing that is they're hitting that dollar sign in the. Do you want to know about this or? I sure do. You know about this, or you think I that would dollar like sign? To. Just watch this. They be hitting that dollar sign right there. They pick a super sticker or super chat, and then uh, tap your little message. Give us all your money. Hit buy and send. All of it. And if I'm into it, I might highlight it. You know, might just highlight such a thing. Might just highlight such a thing. So, might just highlight such a thing. There you go. That's a super chat. I'll just put this out there right now. I would love yeah. some money. Just saying. Oh, don't be it's shy. Coming. Is it's this coming. a new? I'll this take is, it. Is, what's is this a new member ad? What? Oh, could yeah. be. Well, can people change their name? Maybe? Unless know. they change, they their can, name. they yeah. can. But this is interesting because. What, okay, I can't. We can't see it on our end. I think, but how long has that person been a member? Are you new or are you old? You can tell because their badge will tell you, but we can't see it on our end right now, uh, unless you brought up the, you know, interface. Yeah, that's a good point. But um, right, is it? Is that John? No, Jonathan Franzen. He's he oh, wouldn't. He's he's not gonna. He's above that. He doesn't. He he's doesn't, a famous writer. He doesn't have time for that to make an account. You know? Right. Anyways. Yeah, what I'm is out. that? I'm out of here. All right, hey, thank you. Thank you for that yeah, information. That was vital. That is not Chodes. Chodes was here already. Chodes was yeah, no, that's, speaking up. Yeah. But is Ad maybe Franzen? I don't think so, because I don't think he wanted to bother making an account, you know? Who, Ad or Franzen? Hey, why don't you guys just tell me how long, what does their badge look like? Oh, you're not new. Okay. All right. Anyway, it don't matter. Um, well, thanks for being here, <laughs> as always. Um, let's, uh, let's get this topic started. So this topic is, um, I don't know. People have been doing a lot of traveling these days, right? It's the holidays. People are flying, but they're also driving, aren't they? They're driving around, you know, the, you drove down I drove, from Oakland yeah. to Los Angeles for, uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. 
That's right. That's right. And we um, and we'll talk maybe about our Thanksgiving in the after show debrief. But um, anyway, people are using cars, aren't they? <clears throat> and I well, and we're gonna do a, a car episode. This is the topic is cars, and we're calling this um we're calling it they're calling the topic what are we calling it uh chicken coop <laughs> i'm trying to okay. understand that <laughs> got a driving miss daisy that's Jessica who it is. Tandy. It was Miss, it was Jessica. Wow, Laura, you reckon? Wait, how did you how know? How did that? you not recognize Jessica Tandy? I just somehow did not see that, but I oh totally God. know that movie because I quote it all the time. Right, but I, wait. even though I don't really know that movie, to be honest, I don't think I've seen it. I just know. Yes, Miss Daisy. It was like I'm just trying to drive you to the Piggly Wiggly. When he said that. Yeah. Is that, oh my hey, God, that is hilarious. Miss Daisy, I'm just trying to drive to, to the, I'm just trying to drive to the Piggly Wiggly, and then the Jessica Piggly Tanny went by. She goes, she goes, Hulk, you're my best friend. You're my best I mean, friend. I can definitely she says, see the second one, the second phrase. You're my best friend, but to the Piggly Wiggly is just out of it's a little out, outrageous and uncalled for. I feel. I know. It's I mean, bit, you I'm would seeing. not go. Would you not shop at a place called the Piggly Wiggly? It's not that I wouldn't. I first off, I didn't realize it was a store one could shop at. I was envisioning some sort of an ice cream sort of parlor or something like that, or I don't know what. You know, it just the, seems a bit inappropriate. Yes, it is every Monday. Every Monday at six p.m. <laughs> Pacific time. Um, but the uh, yeah, I mean, look, the Piggly Wiggly is pretty classic if you're from those parts, and then also that is yeah. Remember that that store chain that when we went to Missouri. And it's called Schnooks. <laughs> um, Schnooks. Kinda. Hey, I'm going to Schnooks. Do you want me to pick you, you up know, some clones? What's funny about that word is there was a part in Willow where um, Rizel finally gets transformed. Well, I won't say it into what, but she starts reciting a spell. And she says these words that are really funny. And I felt that one of, I think one of the words she says is like wobbling Schnooks. <laughs> something like that. Oh, really? And I thought that was really funny that she Maybe said she that. Maybe she goes, Piggly Wiggly Schnooks. <laughs> so th well, actually, there are pigs involved, so it wouldn't be too far fetched ah. for her to say such a thing. Oh, like... Batala, Piggly Wiggly Schnooks. Oh, Batala, Shango, Ariboto, you know, Piggly Schnooks. By the way, you know that our, <laughs> well, we'll get into this later in the after debrief, but our dad actually at Thanksgiving mentioned Oh, Batala, by the way. Oh, right. Did you hear that? Anyway, whatever. Whoa. Well, wait. Son of Obatala. <laughs> of... He said he was, yeah, he might be well, the. He talks about that all the time. He might be the, the, the son He's of Obatala. Son. He's not a the son. son. A not son. the son. A son of Obatala. Anyway. Of... Um, yeah. All right. So look. Wait, you've never heard that before? Well, maybe I had. but That tale? It was, you know, it was on, on the fresher tip, though, because we were doing the whole Thanksgiving thing. But uh, okay. So, Laura, we got. Jessica Tandy, you know, we got cars. Um, what to say about cars? I can drive a stick shift and so can Laura. That's true. And um, you know who else can drive a stick shift? Who? Jessica Fl Tandy. No, Flonase. Oh, Flonase, indeed. That's true. <laughs> Sucked uh, up. CJ. So, oh, by the way, Tuppy just became a member. We got to make it good for Tuppy uh, oh boy. in the after show debrief. Well, oh apologies in advance. Oh, boy. We got some pressure now. And right. It's not just coming from my nose. Um, well, here's a fact that I don't know if a lot of people here know. I used to be. Oh, you probably do know this if you're actually a hardcore fan. Uh, I was a driver at a point in my life. We were both drivers. We both were drivers. In fact, I was. Yeah. I showed you driving. You were a pre. You yes. You were. I was the no. first driver in the family. You were the first driver. That's I was the first way. driver of the family, and then Laura said she saw me making some money from doing pizza delivery driving. Which, when I think about it, man, I was get making so little actually. You know, come to think of it, but Laura saw me counting my bills, and she said, <laughs> she said, I want to be a pizza delivery boy. And so a year or two later, she was driving the streets. I was driving delivering to, you know, such faces very, as such faces as Jane Lynch, Jane Lynch, 
And oh my God, Wait, Jean Frusciante. Jean Frusciante, indeed. Yes. And, but mean, you know, I delivered to people there, such as a... Toby McGuire. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're not talking about deliveries. I delivered to Toby McGuire. Well, yeah, well, I also delivered. Actually, to no, I didn't deliver Brad. to Toby McGuire. I regist cash registered Toby McGuire at a bookstore <laughs> that I worked at when he and um, Kirsten. Kirsten Dunst were bu buying a book by the title. The that joy of sex. Know, the joy of sex. Yes, uh -huh. indeed. Or otherwise known as, I mean, and another book titled The Kama Sutra. Now, really? They both they that with another, <laughs> another customer, but I don't. Maybe, but you're saying they were, it was oh, a no, sex book. Not, sorry, Toby was buying a book called Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, <laughs> probably to be used in accordance with The Joy of Sex. <laughs> <laughs> you mean, you, you know his, what I mean? Don't sweat the small stuff during the joy of sex. Meaning he know. shouldn't worry that he has a small penis or, or something. something like that. Or a small toad. I don't know. <laughs> or small. Oh, who knows? A small nipples or a small butthole or whatever or something like that. Or just like a small eyelash. I don't know. I didn't have to, you know, doesn't have to. Yeah. Be. I mean, and by the way, no disrespect to Tobes Nard, but um, he just, uh, I, I don't, you know, I met him one time and, you know, when I delivered to him and big whoop you know i had a huge crush on him i won't lie really at one point yeah he's watching the show just so you know <laughs> he could be watching the show it's a no he disrespect is not watching we were just joke i was just joking about the small nard all oh, right? toby yeah. if you're watching wow because i would think you're above this but okay <laughs> i'm down that's awesome of you actually to be yeah watching. no tobe watches Congrats. tobe watch he's on <laughs> tobe watch right now so anyway all right let's so look, um, I've owned three cars in my life, you know, three only that yeah. ain't true. I've owned three cars. I bought okay. my first car, okay. you know, it, it was in, you know, it broke down actually a few years after, I mean, it completely busted in th three years. It was a used car. It was a car that I bought, you know, in 2002 and it was a 1994 Ford. I'm never again on Ford. Oh, sorry. If anyone oh, from Ford is sorry. watching, no disrespect. Nope. It's just a joke. <laughs> but um, and then the and then I got a then I had my Toyota Corolla that I got used as well, but it had not that many miles on it. Had that baby for 11 years. Man, when you got that, I just thought you were really pimping it, as they say. Really, with the Toyota Corolla? Yeah, it seemed so highbrow <laughs> at the time. Really? Well, it was like the nicest car I'd ever seen anybody in our family. It was family a have. Toyota Corolla. I, well, it it's a, not just. It, it was, was a 2001. A, it, was a, it was a whole Toyota Corolla. It was a 2001 Toyota Corolla that I bought in 2006. Yeah, so it seemed really new and nice and futuristic and fancy. Oh, I take it back. I bought that Ford Escort. I bought that in 2003, actually. Oh, the black one? Yeah, the black one. It was a hatchback. Oh my god! Right. And then, yeah. but then, and then, uh, so then, no, but then I got that in two thousand six, and that I had that for eleven years. And then I got a Honda Civic. That so, seems really nice. I mean, you know, it's kind of futuristic. It feels like I'm in a sort of sort of space. It feels ship. Tron like. It is kind of Tron like, yeah. It feels kind of, kind of space mountain like. It is kind of space mountain like that. It feels like I'm, and you know what? It's like you're in a cockpit of sorts. Yeah, I'm in a cockpit of cockpit a <laughs> cockpit. I mean, a cockpit of sorts. Yeah. Does anybody ever say that on a plane on accident? Do they ever say cockpit on accident? Or do they ever just say cock for short? Hey, are you in the cock? That's just a funny idea to th say. Why do they call um, that? Okay. Well, the, the pilot's in the cockpit. I mean, I, cockpit. Sorry. Uh, and uh, if you need anything, just let us know. Uh, just, you know, press the button and we'll be to around. To be honest, okay. cockpit sounds a little more vulgar than cockpit. Thank you for flying you spirit. Me. Oh, cock pick. Right. Of course. <clears throat> All right. So what about you, Laura? What cars have you owned? Well, I guess, you know, I was given a car. Does that count at one point? No. Well, okay, yes, so yes, how many yeah, yeah, cars yeah, have yes. I yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were given a car, that counts. Yeah. But you owned it because you got that. Well, Celica. yeah, the Celica. You know, um, I uh, substitute taught a girl once in Oakland named Celica. Really? Yeah. I, uh huh. <clears throat> is was she in the same class as uh, Bonita? I mean, Boni Bonita. Wait, what is it? Bonisha. Bo Bonisha. Bonisha. She was not in the same classes, <laughs> but she might have been in the same class as Dejanique. 
<clears throat> That's cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, my cousin gave me a Toyota Celica. A, mm, I think it was in 1996. And that was, to me, a very amazing thing to get for free from my cousin who just didn't use it. And I was really amazed. And that was how, how I learned how to drive stick shift. Right. And uh, my Ford Escort was a stick shift. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And then that, I think, I totaled at a certain point <laughs> because I forgot to put oil in it at a certain point. And that just uh, didn't do well. Oh, wow. And then I think that I totaled that when I first moved to San Francisco. And then I upgraded to a Toyota Camry, uh, like a 19, hmm, was it? No, maybe it was a 2001 or two. Oh, maybe it was a 2003 Toyota Camry. And that felt very highbrow for me, you know? Yeah. I felt very safe and cozy and secure in that car. Well, Camrys are huge, all, man. man. Camrys are just gigantic, you know, these days. Now, yeah. Camrys back in the 80s, which is my favorite kind of car, 86 Camry, um, we, which we had as a family we car, but that. we, didn't, we yeah. didn't own it. I love that kind of car but because it looks like a classic car with, you know, boxy. But um, the Toyota, but then Camrys got big. They got so big, they blew up. And then now they're... I love a big car. They're big <laughs> boats now, I feel like. I mean, I like how big the Camry is. Well, I actually don't like the more recent models of the Camry. The no, look, look the new, the new, well, the new Toyotas, the Corollas. In fact, I the reason I didn't get a Corolla more recently is because after being with Corolla for eleven years, I decided <laughs> to call it quits with Corolla because they all look like fish. They, they do. Have, they look they like these, these weird fish faces. They have these fish faces on. They look them, like you know? puffer fish or something. They look like these kind of fishes. Oh, no, I was thinking they look like these kind of fishes. You know, those kind that kind of have a big gaping open mouth. To me, they look like these kind of fishes. You know, those big just imagine a fish. Yeah, I know what you mean, but I'm not sure if I can see that in the Toyota. They basically have these grill things, these black kind of grill things. Yeah, those things, grills, exactly. And those make it look like they have fish faces. The grill ain't a good with, look. With, no with offense to anybody who works at Toyota. Or yeah, and no, and no disrespect to, and no disrespect to fish either, by the way. Right. Be if it fish, the, the just, animal or the ban the animal or the band. Right. And uh, you know, and if you're watching Toyota, we're we we're just joking. Okay, we're just joking. Okay, it's all just a joke. No offense to fish the animal, the band, or the man. Who's the man? <laughs> you know who you are. Fish um, the man. <clears throat> well, if you're just like if you're a fish, no offense. Um, but I'm gonna share something later. I, I think that the Toyota that I <laughs> currently have. So I I bought a to 2003, I think it was Toyota Camry, and that felt very secure for a, a period of time, and then all of a sudden. It just started not working. I remember I was driving down to L.A. from San Francisco during Thanksgiving. And I think I was with one of the twins. And, oh, my God, it just stopped. It started smoking really crazy while we were in the middle of the road. Oh it my was gosh. Thanksgiving. It was cold outside. And it just completely broke down side of the road. I was very freaked. I, I just it was the most uncomfortable feeling. You know, that feeling of just. You're in the middle of nowhere and you don't yeah. know what to do. And you but at least, to gosh, at least you had another person with you. Yeah. I know. I was so thankful for at least that. But I just it also felt very insecure. You know what I mean? Like being out there and not, you know, we were so far from home. And so I just really wanted to get out of that situation and um, eventually got out of it and then bought a car once we were in L.A. So, oh, yeah, I think what happened was something happened with the radio on that on that. But I think all of it was. Ultimately, my fault for not once again. I think I did not put enough oil in the car at that point, and I it took me two times to learn my lesson on that. Just fool you twice, Terrible. shame on fool you. Me twice. But then I got the current car that I have, which is a 2011. I mean, I probably shouldn't tell you people, but um, <laughs> uh, Toyota Camry, and you know, I'd like to get a new car soon. But a new um, Camry? No, not a new Camry. You I would get like the to get Honda. a Honda. I bet no, you want I a Honda I'm Accord. No, I like the Honda Accord, and I, I actually really like the Honda Accord, yes. But if I were to get another sedan, but I think the next car I get, I hate to say it, is going to be an SUV because, you know, that's just where I'm headed. But um, oh gosh. but the 2011 Toyota Camry, I have, I've enjoyed it thoroughly. I mean, it's a nice boat, you know, as you say. And I like that it's a boat. 
Look at Weird Artifacts comment. I was in a, my broken down car in below zero temp, waiting oh two hours God. for a church up. Thought I was a wow. goner. Wow, that's awful. Mm, no fun. Yeah. Well, yeah, the last time I had to wait for a tow truck to come was in L.A. I locked my key in my car, and it was so cold. It was just getting so oh cold. Gosh. It's so that feeling of being in a car that doesn't work and waiting for a tow truck. It's it's not fun. It makes it's you feel kind of help. It makes you feel helpless. Oh my gosh! Yeah. No, well, I maybe we that. can maybe we can find a better car for you if you're going to get a new car. We can look at some commercials and see if you you're looking. For, maybe you want to get a new car. We have some commercials lined up. They might spark some interest. Uh, yeah S spray it okay Make let's it let's watch Make one it. of these commercials here yeah hi hi um to answer Gemma, yes i can drive a stick i never owned a stick though um okay more like, so... more like more like stick and Jess jessica you know <laughs> uh that's right um so sorry i'm out of sorts a little okay so by the way jamie uh, sent all of these ads. Okay. These oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. So this is from 1984. This is a Chrysler Wait, is Voyager. Jane here? What's that? Yeah. yeah. Is Jane here? Okay. She is. Yeah. I saw her. Um, do you know the magician? You like magic, right? Barrett? Black. Yeah. Blackstone. Uh, no. Another uh, you mean, uh, Siegfried? No. Oh, the Roy. One. Roy. No. No. Um, the tiger. Pedra Jonathan Pedragon? No. Is that a real Santa. one? Yes. Um, what about... 84. David Copperfield. Nope. Mm, what Close. about... Close, though. <clears throat> okay, I know who it is. Lance Burton. Nope. Right, well, that was watch. really close. How about we just Hold watch on. the commercial? Well, what? How about we watch the commercial? Okay. Oh, do you want to guess who it is, though? It's a, it features a magician that you have not named. But you have said their first name. Penn. Oh, it's David something. Yeah. Oh, D oh, Harry Anderson. That's the one. No, it's not. Um, Seafoam got it. Seafoam got it. Anyways. David, what's his last name again? Yeah, Henning. Doug Henning. Henning. Oh, it's oh, Doug okay. Henning. Doug, I'm it's sorry. Doug Henning. It's Doug Henning, yeah. And you had me down the wrong Whatever. track. Whatever. You had me down on the wrong track over here. All right, here's this fool. Uh, okay. Chrysler. As your family grows bigger and bigger, cars get smaller and smaller. You need a magic what? wagon. Wow. Wait. I guess that's true, but cars do get bigger and bigger, <clears throat> as I explained earlier, because the Camry used to be a small, a compact car. And the Cam Camry became a, you know, about a larger size car. Now, do you think that this, the Civic got bigger? Well, I, I don't know, but the Accord did. You know, your like Civic the, seems bigger than Anton's old Civic seemed. The, no, I don't think so. But better. The, the Accord became big. The Accord is a mid-sized car, you know. Right. I think the Accord used to be small too. The Accord is the equivalent of the Camry. I mean, I remember that Toyota Tercel. Anyway, I carry don't remember. on. Remember, Tercel sounds like a some sort of R and B name too. As your right. family grows bigger and bigger. Wait, pause it on these bigger versions of these guys here. That's kind of interesting how they got bigger. These kids. What did they look like before again? Let's look at that before and after. Look at that. Oh, whoa, yeah. Wait a minute. It's kind of the interesting. Dog, is the dog in between his legs, that kid? Look at that. Is he? It, do you see that? The dog is in between his legs. <laughs> yeah. How did that work? That's odd, isn't it? I know. It is a little weird. <laughs> it's like, why did they make it be between his legs? I know. That is a little weird. Yeah. It's <laughs> like... Uh, it's almost as though... He's, his dog represents his penis that got big, bigger and bigger. You know what I mean? There's something to it. What's up with that? That's weird. His Oh wait, is his some... arm around his sister? Yeah. That's odd. No, that's normal. His oh, arm oh, is he around has her. Okay, okay, okay. It was around her there. I think that's normal, but Oh, her teddy bear turned into the dog and it goes in between his legs. She was holding a teddy bear and now it's a dog. Well, maybe she's holding a little puppy. No, I think it's a bear. It's a bear. No, I don't know. Wait, look at it's this magician's roast. pants. Is that weird? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? They're, they're kinda, rolled up in one cuff. Run, roll so high. They're almost kind of like hammer pants with cuffs. Right. That is <laughs> not. It's a cuff hammer pant. Is he wearing a, a New Balance shoe of sorts? Is he wearing space boots? Or are they some sort of like Arabian shoe? You know, some he looks of... almost like an Arabian knight. 
Right, but with like je- like hammer pant jeans that that are cuffed upward. He also looks almost in an like excessive way. He's from a '70s space science fiction movie. You know what I mean? That he, he should have a space gun, you know, or something like that. Right. He looks like some sort of space ace meets Lionel Richie. He looks like some kind of space ace. Wait, you know what's crazy is he's got stars on his shirt, and those stars are surrounding the kids right now. Yeah. Well, they're all stars of this commercial. Family. It grows <clears throat> bigger yes. and bigger. Cars get smaller and smaller. You need a magic wagon that carries two passengers and a big load, or five passengers and a smaller load. Or Wait, let me see that trick again. Let me see that trick. Two passengers and a big load, or five passengers and a smaller load. That's kind of cool. Wait, one more time. That's kind of cool. You this need is a magic. All- it's trick photography. It makes sense. No, I actually don't know if it's necessarily trick photography. It's got to be. A big load. They called it a big load. Right. Two passengers and a big load, or five passengers and a smaller load. That, or, yeah. Well, I mean, load just makes me think of two different things, but carry on. I think of, and a yeah, smaller load. I think of poo or, and right, poo. also other stuff. Whoa, it's not Lionel oh. Richie after all. Or an option for <laughs> seven. It's the front-wheel oh, wow. drive Plymouth Voyager, and Voyager's mileage is unbelievable. I remember this car. That was from the 90s, right? I don't think so. It's 84. Oh, this is 84? Because I feel like I would see those cars that looked like that a lot, like in the 90s, I think. But okay. Interesting. Plymouth Voyager, and Voyager's oh, my God. mileage is unbelievable. Only what? Plymouth gives you oh, a just... It's just interesting to see the other cars that are around it, like to the left, station wagon. Right. Bryce Shell's right. It's a huge load. They right. went from a, a big load to a smaller load to a huge load. Voyager, right. Voyager. That'd be funny if they he said the phrase, get the, Do- the Plymouth Dodge, whatever it's called. What is it called? <clears throat> get the Plymouth Dodge, whatever, and, you know, increase your loads. <laughs> you know, right? Anyway, carry on. Voyager's mileage is unbelievable. Only Plymouth gives you a five-year or fifty-thousand-mile protection plan. As your family grows, Voyager is the way. <laughs> well, he is a genie, right? He is he a is. genie. I guess that's why his shoes are they those kind of shoes that have like the po- I think they're point the toe boots. that like curls back. I thought they were space boots. I think he's a bit of a space genie. <laughs> Wait, the parents got rid of their kids just now. I think he's a science fiction genie. Right. He's Wait, let me see that. What happens? To, what happens to this family? They get big. Five Actually, or- you know, I'll tell you what. Who's whose who's loads been increasing with all those kids? The dad's been increasing his loads. Right. With all those kids. Family grows. Voyager Whoa. Way. Okay. One, two, Damn, three, she four. Even, she even five birth- kids. She even gave birth to a dog. His loads are so strong. They got a dog. They got a dog in the mix. That little girl looks like a Von Trapp kid. Actually, the way she's dressed, she's wearing like a dirndl. I guess they must be referencing that sound of music. As your family grows, Voyager is the wagon to grow with. Plymouth Voyager, the magic wagon. You gotta drive it to believe it. Hmm. As your- oh. I, I just think the point of this is loads. He right. has he had a huge his loads got bigger and bigger, and I'm talking about semen, uh, you know. And then he was able to have these kids, you know. Well, they want us to be a fan of loads. Of busting loads and yeah. dumping loads, I think. Yeah. That's the, that's the, uh, that's the uh, what's it called? The grooming message of this particular commercial. Yeah, and that, see, that that Plymouth, that uh, Chrysler um, logo. Yeah, it's a load. That's, that is sort of, in some ways, some sort of tip of a, a penis. Load. It's a tip of the hat to the penis. Could be a butthole, though. You're right, it is. Classic butthole. You're right, Laura. That Maybe. is much more of a butthole. That's you know what's hole. weird? It's a pentagram. <clears throat> it's a five-sided star in a pentagram. Holy shit, it is. <laughs> that is kind of interesting, yeah. Oh, my God, it's satanic. That's kind of satanic. I think it's or actually satanic loads. Maybe it's actually not satanic, but it's just w- Wiccan. I think, no, oh, Wiccan's he's not a genie. Like... He's a genie. He's a magical guy. Oh, no, it makes sense. He's a magic. He's a magician. He's practicing black he's magic. A, he's a magician, so it's it makes sense, you know? Why does it make sense? Because magicians use, you know, witches and stuff use those kind of stars, you know. Well, so do Satanists. And actually, witches don't use pentagrams, I don't think. 
I don't think that's a particularly like Wiccan. I think it's more associated with Satanism. Well, I think this from what is, I know. I, I think it's know. safe to say that this is a butthole, and it's a, he just the load that the big load that just came out it's of it. It's a black is, magic is butthole. He is the load that just came out, and Doug right, Henning is. And if Doug Henning is watching, it's just a joke. <laughs> it's uh, some kind of. It is kind of funny butthole. though. He just came out of the butthole after talking about loads. He's the satan. Okay, he's a satanist, and he just came out of his own satanic butthole. That's what the message here is. I just I think, think it's interesting that he is. Yeah, like Gemma said, it, he's the poo. You know, he is the poo. I am the poo. <laughs> he's saying that at the end. I am the poo. <laughs> I am the poo. You've got to drive it to believe it. You better believe it. You got to drive okay. it to believe it. I am the poo. My name is Doug Henning, and I am the poo. And again, no disrespect. Carry on. No. Um, okay, this next one, uh, it's for Oldsmobile, 1987. Oh, it's got, is that that Oldsmobile? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And can you take over? I got to go back. I mean, if you drive an Oldsmobile, you must be an old person. Because, like, nobody hip is going to know. Have that, it I, it's like. crazy. Oldsmobile, I mean, it's that in the name. That doesn't sound cool. It's an old person's car. I've never, I haven't, when's the last time Oldsmobile? What were they thinking? <laughs> I mean, were they like, we really want to just target old people with this one? Because that's it's the weird. hip young crowd that I have not, I have not even seen an Oldsmobile. And since the, I feel that, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you want to run think, this? I got to go make a pee. Yeah, I, I would like to, but I can't. For some reason, the controls for this are not coming up oh, for really? me. Okay. Oh. Well, I can wait. Till That's okay. In between oh. Really? You can't? Oh, oh. We can anything? just talk until It's not to... showing it to me for some reason. It's fine. It's not that bad yet. Uh, all right. You got, a hold, you got a Holdsmobile. It's a little, yeah. Holdsmobile. Yeah. That, I'll save yeah. it. I'll save it. Um, I think even to have the word mobile in there is like a bit <laughs> not hip. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, can't you think of something else? I mean, <laughs> they really did not sort of do a good job, I think, with that name. Because, yeah, right. like, okay, Toyota, that's, I, I know that those different companies are trying to target certain demographics. I heard, I, you told me this, that Honda's d is like more geared towards young people because they're I, kind of a more sporty type of thing. I don't and then know. Toyota's yeah, more geared yeah, towards yeah, yeah, families. Yeah, 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 yeah. So maybe Oldsmobile is really geared towards old people. I don't know. Oh, it could be. But I mean, let's find out. Does an old person really want to feel old? I mean, I don't think so. Let's okay. find out. Oh, are we are we waiting or are we going to jump in? No, oh, I think we're wait, waiting. <clears throat> Let me try adding it again myself. Are you wearing? Where is Sierra from Oldsmobile? Cutlass Sierra. It's like they're not fooling us with this woman in that red dress. I muted myself. Oh. Gosh, uh, this is not good. I'll explain why in the after show debrief. What? Even What's not it? Oh, I can control it over here. Oh, this is better. Oh, okay. Actually. I can control it. Hold on. All right, here we go. Take off the car you're wearing. Where I hey, I can control Whoa. chicken. Chicken is okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm back. I can control it actually. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't I realize it. the controls are they changed it. They're on the bottom now. No, yeah, I just better because they don't cover the screen. It outside. It's all right. Oh, you didn't have to do that. All right. I, I like doing it. Oh, okay. Let's Take do it. Off the car you're wearing. Where is Sierra? From whoa, 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 whoa. You know what's whoa, weird whoa. is they just showed this woman's body without showing her face. Take They're off like... the car you're wearing. Where is Sierra? Look at that. No what? face. Just a body. <clears throat> the headless that's, woman. That's weird. It's just a body There's without a face. Satan There's something satanic about it's that. It's a body. Sure. With, yeah, Take she's sacrificial. Hold wearing. on a second. Where exactly. From... Whoa, look at that. It's the car is coming out of her butt. Full on. Just just to be clear, I went pee pee, not poo poo. Okay. Good. Just to respond to some. Okay. Not that I'm above shitting outside. Uh, shitting uh -huh. outside. What's Brent doing? I have no clue. Take my I, I'm just I'm blowing my nose and stuff, and I just oh, yeah, yeah, I okay. didn't want to do it on camera. So. Well, why, I mean, you can. <laughs> you can mute it if you're. I mean, you're muting the camera. I, I also am muting it. Right, right, right. This not is a bit. Right. This is almost Lynchian. Right. Take, Take off. off. 
take off the car you're wearing. Okay. Um, yeah, it is Lynchian. That that effect with the car coming out of her butt yeah. is very Lynchian. And no head, no face. Right, and no head. Yeah, that's no no face. Yeah. Take off the car you're wearing. Where is Sierra from Oldsmobile? Cutlass Sierra is red hot, and we're going to make it even hotter. Red. Something red about hot. the red lights. It just feels right. very it's satanic. Red light district. Red light district. It's their right. prostitutes. It's They're also all, oh, it's very Lynchian. Room. They're it's all Lynchian. prostitutes. It's They're like all... um, it's Lynchian. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make it even hotter by having a red hot car sale. Now you hotter. can jump into the top selling car. Hold on a second. Whoa, that wait, is why weird. was there a foot? Why is there a foot? Oh, yeah, they're what showing, is he doing? He's stepping pressing a on a pedal, I guess, but it's it's weird because it's not no, a real pedal. He's not pedal. pressing a pedal. I think he is. What do you mean? Not where? There's right no there. Pedal. Oh, you're right. What is the point of that? He's no, it's because he's saying soul. step step into the car, so it's oh, a step. Oh. Okay, okay, it's a step. Sorry. <laughs> now you can slip into the top selling car in New York. Why does that guy get to step into the car and not the the headless woman? Yeah, why woman? isn't it a woman's heel? Right. Why is it suddenly just a man? It's like the man is stepping into yeah. the woman. Yeah, I want to see some. Like pumps. she's just there to you know sort of dress him. I want to see some hot. She's there some, as some a pumps. kind of as an ornament. I know those are kind of yeah. wide. Those are kind of really wide leg pants. Though, they are they? extremely wide leg. Those are almost like bell bottoms or something. You They're know? too wide. Those are huge. They're almost Jenkos. Oh, you can right. slip into the top. They're Jenko slacks. Sorry, Bryce is right. It says slip in. Sorry, not. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Then what is up with these? Then well, he's the wearing a slip on. Uh, okay. Uh, I, okay. Slip on loafer? That is correct. That is a loafer. Good but point. certainly, this is not for young people. That's for sure. It's for I old don't know. men. This whole thing it's is very sex. Men. It's sexual and it's Lynchian. It's for old men. To it's get for old sexual Think about it. It's like there's these women who are faceless. They just want the body. They're too old to have like a relationship with somebody <laughs> or something like that. And so, yeah, something like that. I That's a weird shot. Really interesting. Ever weird so weird. Shot. It's interesting because they have this woman's body and it's totally. And they did that up. on purpose. Like they sat and, there and compiled, yeah. com you know, they it's also created that. Her hip is sticking out in a way that suggests child rearing. And it's as almost as though the car is, she's giving birth to the car. Uh, it, the car is her child. Or the car is the guy's dick. Sure. And he's going to be able to prolong his life by, you know, having sex with this faceless woman and also having a car, maybe. Something like that? I don't know. Something like that. I just think there's something hip. It's also there's weird something... that it's like you see this it's man's fertile. face, you don't see her face, and you see the car. It's fertile. Look at those three things are overlapping. The man's face, the car, and her butt. Wow. Slash breasts. That's and these red wow, lights. Wow, that is what a mess. Red lights. Wow. What a wow. There's so much going on there. It's oh, the mess. red lights are like the cosmic. Wow. His face looks almost like he, he's busting in her. He looks almost covering. like a robot from <laughs> Captain EO. <clears throat> right. He almost looks like a robotic duck. Carry on. This is very it's strange. Hot. Kind of and humanoid duck. By having a red hot car sale. Now you can red heart, red hot, red hard, red hard cock sale. Is what right. I'm saying for real. Red hot, red hot. Cock selling sale. car in New York, New Jersey, and Southern Why is it showing his? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is pretty funny, actually. I'm I'm gonna just highlight these comments one after the next. So first, this happened, all right, <laughs> and then this happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> well, actually, this happened before that, and then. That was after the cat farted, and uh -huh. then this happened. And then, <laughs> wait a second, and then this happened. Hold on. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. This is kind of interesting. <clears throat> For a special low price. Why did it show yeah. that guy's wrist? I know. Like, what's up with that? What is up with that? What's that supposed to be? What is that? To represent that he's a king? Well, he's got... Okay, wait. Well, hold up. Go back, 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 back. Hold up. Look at that. No wedding ring. Just a middle finger ring. Right. What that's is that a gangster about? Mobster. That's a gangster something. It's a mobster thing. That's a mobster. Or he was in a fraternity, maybe. <laughs> Probably not that, though. <laughs> Look at that. And also, his watch is on the outside of one his quick, jacket. Wow. The car is coming out of the arm. Hold on. One thing, though, is that this person, Chode, said this, too. He said wow. three separate log <laughs> locations. Wow. I, I find it hard to believe, but I guess you'd call that a Brown Friday. 
Right. New York, New Jersey, and Southern Connecticut for a special. Why did it show that guy's arm? That was so that weird. is truly bizarre. I think it's supposed to represent that he's powerful. It's supposed to represent that he's a man and I think in that's charge. A woman, he, has, he has cash. No, that's a woman, and she's wearing a bracelet. That is not a woman's arm. In New York, I think is it, it is. I don't think maybe so. they couldn't get the the woman, so they. I think it's a woman, by the way. But anyway, no, I don't you, think so. <laughs> it's a man's seventy hand. <laughs> I mean, I believe he chose. I just think it's um, crazy, you know. All right, carry on. In New York, New Jersey, and Southern you really think that's a woman's hand? Special yeah. Friend. Well, I think they, they it's what supposed woman? to be. Well, I think it's the first woman. That I think woman? it's supposed, or maybe it's the woman who was whose body we saw earlier. Because no, it can't what, be. It she's is. Got no, she doesn't have a cuff link on or anything. No, look, it's no, on. All right, it's, it's the her. other woman. It's the first one because look, she's the woman who think the car comes out of it, and then the car comes out of the arm on the other one. So therefore. She, you know what? She's basically a uh, madam. Yes. She's, she's a madam. madam. Yeah, she's the she's f- Heidi the... Fleiss. Right. She's a Heidi New Fleiss. New Jersey and Southern Connecticut for a special little price. a man's hand. Wear a Sierra for less. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, she that is, is a madam. Bizarre. That's she's bizarre. telling the man to wear a Sierra. That's interesting. Say it again. She says it she's so saying, intensely. Oh, basically, wear this woman right. is what she's saying. This kind of reminds me of video body. drone. It's kind of first of all, this looks like a phone sex ad right there. Right, this she's shot talking right here. So sexually. This is a phone sex ad. That background is phone Sierra. sex. For less. That's for less. Lin- you can have this woman for less. You it's can- phone sex. It's yeah. Lynch, and it's also reminds me of video drone a little bit too. Yeah. Wear a Sierra for less. Pause it. She goes like well, this. Well, see, this man is like, he's totally going to F that woman. He goes like this. Wear a Sierra for less. You know, the way she says it, it's so weird, right? She, yeah, Look. and she's talking to she's talking to men right now, for sure. Not a woman. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Wear a Sierra or else. <laughs> or she's basically saying, like, you know, you could go with these those high class hookers over there but i got these ones that are pretty good you don't even have to uh-huh. see their faces and you're gonna pay a lot less so yeah jump in oldsmobile price wear a sierra for less the good old guys are designed that guy just sierra. fucked he's getting dressed again he just got you know he's what i mean dressed. all right <laughs> Or he's, guys are designing no, he's, he's doing the whole. He's yeah, he's, he's dancing like, to Madonna's "Open Your Heart" music video. All oh, right, that's the boy from Now a Man. <laughs> yeah, he's now a man. Yeah. The good old guys are designing Cutlass Sierra deals you just haven't heard before. What the hell? Oh, what the man, hell? That Who's that guy? Whoa, there's a lot of different people. Oh my here. god, these are all men. <laughs> she okay? That's, I guess maybe the madam still. She just got paid, and now she's like, <laughs> and now she went on a shopping spree. Like, oh, that's kind of interesting. That shot, by the way, it's the right, hub cat, or whatever it is. The it's not whatever that thing is, and then it turns into the hat. That hat is weird, though. That's Why interesting. Why does it have this weird like hubcap on it? <laughs> Look at it's a bunch of pentagrams. The good old guys are designing Cutlass Sierra deals. This commercial is just so before. artsy. It's you know what's interesting about this commercial? If Who it didn't have. If it didn't have this music, it would be it's totally and that and the narration, it would be very artsy. I mean, right. just look at these different shots. It almost looks like a taco music video. Kinda. Look at it. You know what is all these images? They're so artsy and we, also, you know? but look at the all the all of the people that are surrounding the car sign on the next shot are men. Watch. I know that's really weird. That is so freaking weird. Keep going. I mean, that guy's weird, but. I know it's it like, zooms in. It's like, look okay. at this. All men. No, there was a woman. I spotted. I spotted. Why are these all men, though? Look, there's a woman right oh, there. One woman who is basically. I th- are those. Is, yeah. What is are that? Are those the salespeople or are they the kind of ideal customer for this kind of They're car? They're the ideal know? customer, I think. It's so bizarre. Or people who have worn Sierra. It's so really like, artsy. I mean, this is really artsy with the different pictures changing and stuff. Dude, it looks like there some... was. Why only one woman cool. in all of this? Was she actually... basically like some sort of <laughs> grand high witch or something? Or like, <laughs> these are all weird. These are some freaking bohemian. Actually, I, I actually think this is really artsy. I think it's really cool. All these different changing faces and stuff. Play it. This is so weird. Watch this. These were all clients who had sex with That's interesting. It's just going and going. That's so interesting. 
Yeah, that's that interesting. So it's actually a very artsy commercial, very artsy. And it actually kind of makes Oldsmobile seem hip to me. I would not go so far as to and say youthful, that. Youthful, youthful. No, all of these men are old ass mofos. And the one woman is old too. No, I know, but it's artsy though. Crew. I'm saying, well then, hey, I guess old people, I guess they're saying that old old people can be artsy too. You know, in fact, old people are maybe even more artsy than you are. You think but you're so I don't hot. feel that it, I mean, it's, it's artsy in as much as like a David Lynch movie is artsy, but I don't even know if it's trying to be artsy. It's just kind of whatever it is. I kind of think it was trying to be artsy, but then the producers or Oldsmobile, the client said, hey, can we tone down the artsiness a little bit? Can you put a, uh, a narration and some music in there that doesn't sound so artsy? But we and do then, want the, what, the pimpress to be very sexual. So keep here's that. an exercise. Let's just watch this that that commercial without the sound. Watch, just watch. It, you're, it's going to look so much. Actually, is there any way to to i mean i don't know if you can do this what if it just had like a drone behind yeah can you just play some sort of interesting actually can you play on one of your oh like a synth drone just some synthy weird kind of weird stuff on synth and then play the commercial the uh what's it called the juno use the juno yeah i think he's gonna get it i think he's gonna get it i mean i almost uh do you like a yeah, no, I don't. I don't know if I'm set up for such a thing. Can but... you? Is there any way you can just play some music that's on? Uh, you know, hang, hang on, hang on. This could be interesting. I think. Uh, just give me a second. Keep talking. All right. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna. This is gonna be an interesting experiment. We'll kind of close this episode with this. But I think we get some synth on that, and we get and just watch it silently. I tell you right now, you're gonna think, "Oh, well, this is weird. This is an interesting commercial. It's artsy. It's bizarre. There's no faces." All right. <laughs> Can you there hear this? Faces. No. No. You didn't hear nothing. No. Well, I didn't. No, I I heard nothing. All right. I think I could figure it out. If you give me like one second. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. game. Um. Uh, yeah, you know, maybe if you played it at a slower speed, that would work too. I'm just wondering if I have any. Hmm. Oh, I'll just. Hey, you know what? While he's setting that up, I'll just mention this. Um, we are after this. We're going to go to the after show debriefs. How do you get to the after show, after show debriefs? You can join, become a member, just like uh, Tuppy did. Tuppy did earlier. Okay, and um, you can um. There's a couple different tiers you can join at, but it's fun. We're going to get into, we're going to talk a little bit about some Thanksgiving stuff, but also I'm going to tell you about something that I have going on tomorrow that um, I, I'll just get into it later, but, um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, the, yeah, become a member. It might be fun. And you can see all the, uh, the previous episodes in the playlist called the chicken coop. You can watch clips um, on, a different channel called uh chicken coop show check out that channel and um it's also that's the same handle for the instagram and the tiktok accounts thank you to weird artifacts jason odd weird artifacts is his band for putting together the uh the clips and um thank you to um Gemma and cammy for maintaining those accounts um that i mentioned thank you to chicken jessica for his work behind the scenes and um, that he's getting set up for this ultimate finale here. And um, thank you to uh, why why the chicken theme. Well, you'll you know you'll learn about that one day. Maybe on our two year anniversary, we'll um, we'll get into that. Yes. Last drum. Can you hear this? Yes. Yes, we did. Um, that was pretty it's a heavy. Loud. It's a little. It was a distorted. little loud. It was a little loud. Yeah. Oh, that's really loud, really loud. People just got... Can you turn it down a little yeah, more? Just, oh, there. I think that's a good well, that's tone. It. That's, that's the one. That's the one. Tone. That's the one. Just go. leave it at that. Just do that. Just that. Yeah, that's good. Leave it at that. That'll work. That'll work. Now, do you want me to play the video? I think shall that I, one note just like kind of ebbing and flowing. Or shall, like I, do a... shall I play the video? Just that one note that you had earlier. That was really good. Okay, you got it. Use the use that uh, pitch shifter thing on it. Is there any way of playing the slow motion, by the way? The video? Huh? It doesn't matter. We don't need it. I think they're already. No, whatever. No, it's okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Here comes. 
Okay. Yeah, start off start off with an intro and then we'll I'll play the track. Oh my god, that is so weird. <laughs> Dude, like good. I feel yeah. like whenever it showed an actual human's face and all the just the symbolism was really coming out there. The only parts that it didn't fully work on were when it had like text on there or whatever, but Right, but you know what? I actually think if this, so if, this was, if this was if this was at 75% the speed <laughs> Right. It would be perfect. It would be. Oh I could God. slow it down and then re-upload it and do that. I don't even know. That was awesome, though. I think we were good on that. I think. That was I mean, a live guys... jam right there. Yeah, that huh? was good. Very professional good. Professional musician right there. Good job yeah. on well, holding good job on the Juno. a note. Was that was a Juno, right? <laughs> no, it was a Moog Prodigy. Oh damn! Okay. I mean, I got a Juno, but I know. I want that was pretty cool. Mono, you know? yeah. I mean, the, especially near the end, where the woman looks up. She's wearing this sort of artsy kind of look. She has this kind of niggle look. And then, right. then the guy with the aviator glasses or whatever. And then <laughs> right. oh it's, my just, God. it's just, and then the guy with the tuxedo. I mean, the whole thing the is tuxedo just. tuxedo thing was so like. It's there very just, artsy. Yeah, these certain beats in the whole scene that really felt very. It's Abishai yeah. artsy. It funny. was artsy. It was also very right. Lynchian. So anyway, we're going to go do After Show Debrief. I explain how that all works. Um, hey, join the Discord so you can know about if for some reason we can't do 6 p.m. Pacific time on Mondays, but we normally do that. But uh, let's get into the After Show Debrief. The link is in the description of the video on how to get there. And um, <clears throat> we'll see you, I, I guess, all next week, or we'll see you in just a few moments uh, at the After Show Debrief. Isn't that right? My name is yeah. Brent Wein My name is Brent Weinbach. I'm Laura Weinbach. Thank you to everybody who contributed and, and everything. And um and you know, if you don't want to join the debrief, that's fine. You know, we'll, we'll see you next week. But we'll we gotta make it good for Tuppy. We gotta make it good for anybody else. Um okay, chicken coop is the name of the show. We'll see you next week or in a little bit. Bye.